Hey guys, how you doing? Peter here. Welcome to my Adventure Seeker YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about the latest addition to my camping kit. It is the Zempire Monster Mat Twin. So this is not a sponsored post. I bought this one off my own bat and uh, am reviewing it as such. Um, it did come from a recommendation from a few mates uh, and a little bit of research on the web, cost versus quality, etc., etc. And after a bit of uh, umming and ahhing, I decided to settle on this particular one. So this one, the twin, comes in a 201 length by 135 width by 10 centimeter depth, uh, and. It's a very comfortable unit, I can tell you that much. After using it a couple of times now, I'm very impressed with its performance. So let's dive in and take a closer look at it. Essentially it comes in this big bag, 60 centimetres, packs down to about 30, 35 centimetres wide. I've packed it pretty bad right now, it's probably more like 40 centimetres, uh, but still fits in the bag nice and comfortably. Pull the little drawstring up there, and out you come. So on the inside here, you have two straps, which uh, keep it all together, compact and nice once it's been deflated. Simply just rip them off. Probably smart to keep them in the bag as well so they don't go walkabouts. And then you just roll it out. So at this end here, we've got the valve. It's probably the uh, most important part, making it self-inflating. And then we've got a few different fabrics which make up the overall product. So on the bottom, with this green, lime green side you can see here, you have a 75 denier polypongi. For those of you not super in the know, a polypongi is essentially a synthetic silk, so it's very strong and very robust gonna handle most surfaces you, put, surfaces you put it down on. And then on the top sleeping side, we have a 30 denier super stretch nylon ripstop material. Very comfy, very soft. And once you've folded it out, you move on to the, onto the fun part. So at this end here, you have uh, the valve. You simply unscrew it and you have a dual sided inflate deflate uh, valve. So basically you just flip that 180 degrees and it starts filling up. So at this point you can just let it run its course and it usually takes about five or 10 minutes to fill up, not too long at all, just depending on the conditions. You're free to go to the campfire and uh, grab a beer. And we're back. So there you have it. I did time it. It only took six minutes to get this inflated. So that's good. Uh, for some people, they might need a little bit more pressure in it. Inside, you have a cross cell foam, which is antimicrobial. So you can give it a few blows in the end here just to give it, give it a bit more firmness and get it to the pressure you want. But other than that, it is comfy and ready to have a sleep on. And I am not complaining right now. Even here in the sun, it is very comfortable. So the pack down procedure is very much the same. All you do, unscrew the valve, flick it back to deflate only, do the 180 twist, leave that thing open. And to get all the air out, essentially you just Fold it in half. You can hear the air rushing out there. Get as much of your weight on it as you can. Fold it back down again. Put all your weight on it and it'll just force it out. Give it a few more folds. This is way better than some of the other ones out there. Once the air's out, it stays out and it doesn't keep trying to re-enter while you're trying to 
quickly grab the straps and wrap it back up. That's an absolute pain, that. And the last little bit, just line it all up. And then uh, roll it in. Very simple. Just, you can line it up quite well. I'm just trying to do it as quick as possible for demonstration's sake right here. Just get that last little bit of air out. Boom. And uh, screw the cap back on. Grab your compression straps. Done a pretty good job this time, so it's not too tricky to strap it up. If you're really lazy, you can uh, definitely under under deflate this, and it does become a bit of a bit more of a battle to. Uh, Strap it up and get it in the bag, but you'll still uh, find a way for it to get in there, no doubt. And away she goes. All done. Very, very quick process. So the cross cord open cell foam is really great at inflating and deflating this one efficiently and it also has an R value of 9.5 which is really up there on the warmth scale uh, so it really does provide good insulation from a cold surface overnight. Uh, the cost of this $2.99 Australian dollars quite reasonable for the quality of sleep that you get on top of this. I would probably compare it to my bed at home. I'm not a fussy sleeper though, so for the more fussy sleepers out there, you might have something to say about that, but I'll leave that uh, up to you. Um, and I can honestly say this has been the best camping sleeping mat that I've ever had before, without a doubt. Thanks for watching this one, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I hope you get out there and uh, get some camping in soon. See you next time, adventure seekers.